let's look at how to make custom exceptions. So first of all, in order to make a custom exception, you need to include exception right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and make two exceptions, one without an argument and one with an argument. So exception without argument, without a parameter, and then exception with argument or parameter. So first of all, let's go ahead and write my exception without an argument. So I'll do a class, uh, my exception, and I want it to inherit from the std exception class, um, public accepting it. And now inside of this, I need to have a public, well, a public section. And inside of this public section, I need to have a const char star what. So it's going to return basically a string that tells me what happened. So I'll do return and then my exception was thrown. And you can have whatever message you want for your custom exception right here. And so it's basically just a fixed a fixed message because there are no arguments. If, however, you do have an argument, you probably want to incorporate that in your message. So I got a class, my exception, and you could pass in an argument and then interpret that argument um, to be something else and give different messages based on what the argument is. But same kind of thing, it inherits from the standard my exception or standard exception. And then I want to make both a private section and a public section. The private section will keep track of my internal variable. And I want internal variable to keep track of the message being passed in. So I'm going to have a string message. And I'm going to go ahead and populate this string message with some message. So I'm going to say it's going to start with uh, my exception two, And put it like that. Now I can just add it to the string before you send it out. So now I've got that string done. I need to set up my constructor for this class. So my constructor will be my exception two, and this constructor is going to take a const std string um, msg for the message going in, and I'm going to put reference to that, and it's going to start out with nothing in case there's anything passed in. So then I can go ahead and modify this or save it. So this message now is going to have the new message added to the end of it, msg. So that takes care of updating the message internally. And then you still need to have something, the what method to get the stuff back. So you have a const char star what. Now we notice that I'm using strings instead of, well, char star. So I need to convert it. And so I'm going to take this message and convert it to a C string. So I'll do a return, return. Let's take a, this message. And we'll convert it to a C string, right like that. So this will return it and it'll be an exception we can actually you know, use and receive properly. All right. Now I need something to actually call these or throw these exceptions. So I'll make two different functions. So avoid, so function one is a void. And let's make it funct one and doesn't receive anything but all it does is just just throw um my 
say exception. So it just throws the exception, that's all it does. Pretty simple function. And I'll make function two now to throw the other one. And we avoid function two. And all it does is throw my exception two, except I can pass in something if I want. It's optional, but let's say, um, let's pass in a hello exception message. All right, so what do we have now is we have two different exceptions. We have the my exception and my exception two that takes a parameter. And then we have two different functions that will throw the exceptions. Now we just need to have main go ahead and use this stuff. So I'm going to have main do a try statement. So try and inside my try statement, it's going to call function one, which is going to trigger an exception. And so I just need to catch that. So I'll catch the my exception. And we will receive it as ampersand x. And then um, inside of this, I can go ahead and just print out the message. So let's take out this right here, paste it right here. And we want to figure out what the exception message was. So, so phone one and the message is going to be the exception dot what so what was the exception now i'm going to take this same piece of code and we'll run it again except this time we're going to call the function two and in this we can have this be func two and so everything here is almost the same we just need to change the exception we're catching I mean, if I did say a my exception two, or a my exception right here without the two, it would not catch the exception and it would then crash the program. So I, I could actually have two different catch statements up here and then do other things, but we'll just stick with this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we'll see what happens. So the first exception is caught and you see my exception was thrown. So this is the message that was sent from the exception when I called the what method. And then my exception two is hello exception. And that's once again, what was called when you called the what? So this is how you can create custom exceptions. You can see both an exception without an argument and an exception with an argument.